Use a forklift to move the product to a position convenient for removing the outer box. Step 1. Unboxing. Remove the screws at the bottom of the outer box. Lift the outer box. Remove the packaging box of the laser tube. Loosen the screws that fix the feet to the pallet. Use a wrench to lift the feet away from the pallet. Tear off the protective film. Take out the honeycomb panel and place it on a flat surface. Push the machine to the appropriate working area. Lower the feet to ensure the machine is stable and does not wobble. Open the front cover and take out the internal accessories. Cut the tie securing the Y-axis belt. Pull the Y-axis belt to move the gantry towards the front of the machine. Remove the dust bag from the laser head, cut the tie, and remove the accessories on top. Aluminum knife, checklist, exhaust pipe clamp, ground wire, water hose, exhaust pipe, manual, hex wrench set, USB data cable, ethernet cable, ceramic resistor, silicone sealant, key set, alarm wire, water hose clamp, alignment tape, power cord, accessory bag, laser tube, open the laser tube compartment, loosen the laser tube bracket, place the laser tube on the laser tube bracket, remove the locking ring from the laser tube head, install the dust cover on the laser tube head, Loosen the baffle on the high voltage side of the laser tube. Move the laser tube towards the high voltage side until the red silicone sleeve is exposed. Remove the red silicone sleeve Marutsar. Loosen the fixing screws. Connect the high voltage wire. Reinstall the silicone sleeve. Move the laser tube towards the low voltage side. Reinstall the baffle. Connect the blue water pipe on the high voltage end. Connect the white water pipe on the low voltage end. Connect the black low voltage wire. Move the laser tube to the right until the dust cover is about one centimeters away from the first mirror mount. Secure the laser tube. Loosen the baffle on the low voltage end. Remove the dust cover from the first mirror mount. Reinstall the baffle. Install the aluminum knife platform. Move the honeycomb panel onto the aluminum knife platform. Open the left maintenance door and remove the dust bag from the second mirror mount. Step two, electrical grounding. Plug the two power cords that come with the machine into the corresponding sockets. Use a power source with reliable grounding to connect the machine. If not, connect the ground wire that comes with the machine to the ground terminal and the other end to the ground. Step 3. Exhaust System Installation Use a hose clamp to attach the exhaust pipe to the exhaust port of the machine. Tighten the hose clamp to secure the exhaust pipe. Place the other end of the exhaust pipe outside the window or connect it to a smoke purifier. Step 4. Water Chiller Installation and remove the soft hose from the machine's water inlet and outlet. Remove the protective covers from the water inlet and outlet of the chiller. Place the hose clamp on the water hose. Connect one end of the water hose to the machine's water outlet and the other end to the chiller's water inlet. Similarly, connect the other water hose to the machine's water inlet and the chiller's water outlet. Use the alarm wire provided with the machine to connect the machine and the chiller. Open the top water fill port and add distilled water or laser-specific antifreeze. Check that the water level in the chiller is at normal. Connect the chiller to the power supply and turn it on. The water will start circulating once the panel lights up. Check if there are any small bubbles in the laser tube and whether the entire water circulation system is leaking. Step 5. Main Power Connection Use the provided power cords to connect the machine and power it on. The machine requires two power cords. Step 6. Emergency Stop Device Setup Turn the emergency stop switch clockwise to release the emergency stop. Press the emergency stop switch. 
the entire machine will lose power, indicating that the emergency stop function is working correctly. Step 7. Protective Cover Setup Open the cover and place a piece of material directly under the laser head. Close the cover and press the pulse button on the control panel. The machine should fire the laser normally. Open the cover. The green indicator light will turn off and the yellow indicator light will turn on. Press the pulse button on the control panel. The panel will sound an alarm and display a machine protected error message. Close the cover. The yellow indicator light will turn off and the green indicator light will turn on indicating that the cover protection function is working correctly. Step 8. Water Shut Off Bend the water hose or turn off the chiller, then press the pulse button on the control panel. The water protection fault appearing on the panel indicates that the machine's water protection function is working properly. Step 9. Air Assist After turning on the key switch, the air assist will start. Feel the airflow at the laser head nozzle with your hand. If the airflow is weak, check if the air assist intake is blocked. O open the rear maintenance door of the machine and check the operation of the air pump. If necessary, remove the air pump's cover and feel the air pump's airflow. Step 10. Optical Path Check place materials at the rear left, front left, and front right of the workbench. Move the gantry to the center position. Open the left maintenance door and stick alignment tape on the second mirror mount. Move the gantry to the rear, most position of the working area. Move the gantry to the front, most position of the workbench. Press the pulse button on the control panel. Remove the alignment tape. If the burn marks from the two pulses overlap, the Y-axis optical path is working properly. Move the laser head to the center position and stick alignment tape on the third mirror mount. Move the laser head to the far left and press the pulse button. Move the laser head to the far right and press the pulse button. Remove the alignment tape. If the burn marks from the two pulses overlap, the X-axis optical path is working properly. Step 11. Software connection to the machine. Insert the USB drive that comes with the machine into the computer. Copy the files from the USB drive to the computer's hard drive. Open the folder Software RD Works Setup and run the RD Works Software Installer. Click Install. In the Program Installation Interface, click Install USB Driver. Click Install to complete the software installation. Method 1. USB Connection Connect the data cable to the machine's USB cable to PC port and the other end to the computer's USB port. Open the RDWorks software, click Setting at the bottom right. Double-click Device and click Test in the pop-up window. If Port Test Success appears, it means the software has successfully connected to the machine. Method 2 Ethernet connection. Check the machine's IP address. Press the FN key on the panel. Move the selection box to IP Config Plus. Press Enter. Note the machine's IP address. Modify the computer's IP address. Right-click the Windows icon and select Run. In the dialog box, type Control and press Enter. Select Network and Internet. Network and Sharing Center. Select Change Adapter Settings. Connect the machine and computer with the included network cable. When the Ethernet icon changes to Unidentified Network, right-click the Ethernet icon and select Properties. Left-click Internet Protocol Version 4 
Then click Properties. Click Use the following IP address. Enter the IP address. The first three segments should be the same as the machine's IP address, and the last segment should be different. Click OK to complete the machine's IP setup. Click Add, select Web, enter the machine's IP, and click Test. If Port Test Success appears, it means the software has successfully connected to the machine. Import the engraving pattern, and adjust the size and position. Modify the machine's processing start point. There are four options available. Double-click the processing layer to set the engraving speed and power. Place the material to be processed in the desired location. Open the front and rear access doors to place oversized materials into the machine. Our machine features a pass-through design for larger and longer materials. The right side access door works similarly. After placing the material, use the autofocus function to quickly achieve the correct focus. Press FN on the panel, move the selection box to autofocus, and press Enter. The workbench will automatically rise until the compressed laser head triggers the sensor, then lower to the correct distance. Use the focus gauge to confirm the gap between the material and the laser head. Click Go Scale in the software to preview the engraving area. Adjust the material position or processing start point as needed. Once the processing position is correct, Click Start to begin engraving. Method 3. Offline engraving with USB drive. Insert the USB drive with the engraving pattern into the machine's USB flash drive port. Press the Menu button on the panel, select File, select UDisk Plus, and choose Read UDisk. Select the required file, Press the right button and choose Copy to Mem. Return to the Pattern Selection interface and select the newly imported pattern. To modify the processing parameters, press Enter on the main interface. Move the laser head to the appropriate position and press the Origin button. This sets the laser head to start engraving from the current origin point. Press the Frame button on the panel to preview the laser head's processing range. Once the range is confirmed, click Start to begin engraving. After engraving, turn off the machine in sequence. First turn the key counterclockwise to turn off the laser power, then press the button to turn off the machine power, and finally press the emergency stop button. After the machine is turned off, wait for one minute before turning off the chiller power to ensure the laser tube's residual heat is dissipated. Open the front maintenance door of the machine and remove the drawer to clean up the waste. 